can't believe it has been 50 years. It feels like yesterday, maybe because I enjoyed every moment of it. I had a very rewarding career. I got lucky. My coaches were outstanding ballet masters, the true legends. As a principal dancer, I performed practically all the leading roles of the classical repertoire. great ballerinas. I dance with Irina Jandieri, Nadezhda Pavlova, Ala Khaniashvili, Lyudmila Semenyaka, Lyubov Kunakova, Nina Ananiashvili, Irma Nioradze, just to name a few.
I think that teacher is a key figure in ballet training. I am very grateful to my amazing teacher, the legendary Vaktang Chubukiani. Now I share classical ballet traditions with my students. My teaching philosophy is to give the students a solid ballet technique foundation and at the same time to give them an opportunity for a maximum development of their individual talent. I try to help them become the best dancers they can be. And I'm very proud of my students. One of the wonderful things in ballet in general is the lineage through which it passes from person to person and role to role. And Vladimir is a wonderful example of this with direct links to Vaktong Chubukiani, who created some of the most brilliant um, male roles in the repertoire. And Vladimir brings this, this lineage and his Georgian passion to his teaching 100%. There's always a sense of finish and performance and um, a wonderful uh, example of male bravura. And just, uh, he taught me how to be a man. And that, a lot of the times I think that's lost in the world that we live in today, when it, especially when it comes to the arts. There's so much um, just steps that are neither man nor woman. They're just kind of steps but you taught me how to stand like a man you taught me how to hold my chest like a man you told me how to hold my chin like a man i mean you made me a male dancer and and now that you're back at the cure of I, I hope that that masculinity comes back because it's so great to see see a true prince on stage to see a, a man on stage that's commanding and and knows how to take care of the lady on stage I studied with Mr. Jewel Hadze for three years at the Kirov Academy uh, some time ago. And um, he, he brought me into the class and I was a little bit behind the other boys. Um, 
because I started ballet a little bit later and he, he quickly caught me up and, you know, I, I asked a lot of questions and no question was uh, met with impatience or anything of the sort. He really is a teacher in the truest sense and working with him, I quickly got a sense that I was being taught something that had been passed down to him and probably passed down to his teacher. And I feel fortunate to be a part of that lineage. He, like I said before, he demands um, excellence and he inspires uh, passion. And I feel that one of his largest contributions um, to me as a person and as, a, as an artist and, and especially as a ballet dancer is to, to see the, the passion behind everything that you do and the passion behind your movement um, passion behind the choices that you make and to follow through with them and no matter how hard it is to have the grit like that he always had with us in class you know he he demanded excellence but he brought excellence to our class and we felt special we felt um, as a class uh, those three years we felt like we were unique because he he made us feel that way and um and he could be strong and he can be really, you know, uh, tough on you. And for me now as a, as a professional, I see how that helped form my character that I would need in uh, professional life because being a dancer is, is really challenging day in and day out. Um, I definitely owe um, my drive and passion for work to Mr. Julahadze. Um, he taught me that even when I felt like I couldn't continue, you know, whether it was a pas de deux or, you know, just a variation, he would be like, let's do it again, let's do it again. And, and you know, I believed that I could do it because he gave me that, um, you know, confidence through his strength. And um, I just feel fortunate to have studied with him. I just remember that I had started the year-round program. I was all of 13, and um, Joel Hase was my character teacher that first year, and I was so overwhelmed by character dance. Um, it requires a lot of coordination, and it is quite a bit different than ballet, and I hadn't had a ton of exposure to it. Um, and Jewel Hadze took what could have been a very frustrating class for me and because of so much passion that he had made it my favorite class. I actually fell in love with character dancing because of him and I think that um, across the board he brought just a beautiful patience to the way he teaches and so I think everyone who's worked with him has come away um, you know feeling like they've been been able to meet challenges and just really getting that passion from him. So, I mean, as, as a teacher now, um, Jewel Hadze is one of the people who really inspires me to find my own balance between patience and passion. Another story is about his passion. He was so passionate and uh, in character class especially, I remember his port of bra and his shoulder and his his epaulement and and just the overall artist that he is and that he always was and um again when you're younger you're, and you're learning just the steps you don't always know exactly what you're looking at but many years later when I'm on stage and I'm trying to remember some of my training and and the energy and the the magic much of it stems back to to his passion and his charisma and his um his yeah his magic and this was rare to see in in class from a teacher um sometimes they're a really good teacher but very rarely can you see the artist that they were and it's also because many teachers were not professional dancers. But in every step, in every class, you could feel the professionalism and you could feel the performance qualities. And uh, those were also very important chapters in my education. And uh, you know, I'm most thankful for that.
and I looked up to you so much in so many different ways. Like I said, a teacher, a father figure, a, a mentor. Um, you really did a lot of things that I still hear you echoing in my head today. Uh, just how you would call, call us, you know, you're my darling. <laughs> or you'd be screaming at Chauncey, Chauncey, my darling! <laughs> um, just thinking about everybody that came out of your classes and, and how much you did for us in our professional careers. I mean, you really taught me how to perform. Um, I had the technique from the prior years that I was at Kira, but you really showed me how to use it. I always thought there was a great balance between all the, the teachers at the Cure of, and you were the one that really showed the performance value, what we could look like, how to use our hands, how to use our facial expressions, how to use the light that was coming down in our face, whether we needed to be gypsy dancer or we needed to be the prince. You know, um, you gave me some tools that no other teacher ever gave me. You gave me the appreciation for character dance. Um, I shared a couple of those videos with you. One of them, one of the dances that I created was a homage to you. Um, it was called Tbilisi and it was based on the Georgian folk character dance. And I wouldn't have had that love for character dance if it wasn't for your classes every Saturday morning. <laughs> working with him closely at the Kirov Academy of Ballet. We prepared six variations for the very prestigious Varna Bulgaria competition, which I'm proud to say that I won the gold. 
for the junior division. I was 16 at the time. And I wanted to share a really funny story with you. I just remember those early morning rehearsals at 9 a.m. I believe it was Studio B. It was a studio that the boys took class in. And uh, every morning, I heard in the Paquita variation, why you no do more pirouettes? And then I heard in my Sleeping Beauty variation, why you not balance longer? Why you not do 10 pirouettes? Why you not jump higher? Why? <laughs> and it pushed me to try harder. And he had this vision of me doing these incredible things. The things that you dream about doing as a dancer. And uh, it was hard work. And we finally made it to Varna, Bulgaria. And it was, my it was the first round, my first variation, Paquita, the slow variation. And there are lots of arabesque balances. And the very last balance, I, I held it forever. The audience erupted into applause. You could hear the little kids laughing. And there's Vladimir in the wings. It's enough. It's enough. Finally, it's enough. <laughs> um, so I think that explains our, uh, our relationship and our work together uh, in a nutshell. And I just want to say that I need an audience to do 10 pirouettes, Vladimir. <laughs> you for the four years that I did at the Kirov Academy really was so influential on my career and allowed me to have a career that I'm so proud of. You're a special kind of teacher. Um, my class was filled with a lot of talented guys and we were all so different from one another. And the amazing thing is, is you gave all of us a foundation of technique to build from, but you never made us feel like we had to be like each other. We were allowed to be individuals. We were allowed to keep, to, to keep who we were, um, but you gave us all the tools necessary to become artists and you always, supported us in our strengths and you always pushed us through our weaknesses even on the rough days i remember when i would get upset at something if something didn't work out or i'd fall out of something you would always say not to worry about it it's not worth getting upset over it's not going to change anything figure out how to fix it and do it differently and I try and apply that to more than just my dance career. I try to apply that in life as well. Um, 
you're more than a teacher, you're a mentor. And it's very clear that you only wanted the best for us. And that's, and that is so special. There are a few stories I can share about Mr. Jugohadzi. The first story is related with pain because he was probably the best stretching master ever. After every class, he would stretch me in such painful ways that at night and in my dreams, I would curse at him. But many, many years later, I realized how amazing he was and all the time and love and energy and this pain and torture was really love. <laughs> love for me, love for the art form. And uh, there were a few other people in class that he was stretching. Um, and I always wanted them to go first because it was, it was, uh, it was painful, but wonderful at the same time, truly wonderful. He used to come into class with us and ask us, you know, questions. And I remember the first few times that it happened, you know, he'd ask me like, what does this word mean or something? And I remember being so timid to even answer him because at that point I didn't see him as human. I saw him as, you know, Mr. Julahadze. And, you know, to, to start to see him as a human, you know, from simple things like that was just a, it was something special because not all teachers would, would be that way with you. You know, they would keep the teacher-student relationship very, you know, strict. And I, I always appreciated that about him, that he, he brought, you know, a human level to things. And, uh, and on that human level, we used to, you know, experiment and uh, he would have us do like Tchaikovsky paw uh, or Tchaikovsky variation things. And, you know, we weren't supposed to be doing that at that time in, in the class. And he, he would be like, okay, here's the combination. And then, you know, if Madame Vinogradova was coming, he would be like, okay, guys, let's do the next combination. And we used to laugh about that. It was um, a good time, you know, to feel that camaraderie between uh, you know, our classmates and also with Mr. Julahatsi, like we were in it together. And uh, not that we were a team because we all had our individuality and he, he wanted that for us, but in the end we were in it together. And as, you know, one student in the class did, did something, you know, the other one, and we kept egging each other on and getting better and getting stronger and trying to push each other. And that was, you know, all um, thanks to Mr. Jalhadze. Um, another thing that he would say to us, um, and I remembered it because he started saying it in the company classes at Washington Ballet, which is, hey, if you want to do it this way, you can do it this way. But if you want to be a good dancer, you could do it this way. <laughs> and we used to laugh, you know, because he's saying it to the, the younger dancers at Washington Ballet, but we all knew what he meant because it's true. It's like, you can choose to do it one way and it might be easier for that day, but you know, 10 days or, you know, 20 days down the road, you start to lose a little bit of that edge. And um, that's just another example of his humor that he would bring, but also that he, he understood what you needed to be doing and uh, demanded that from you. <laughs> Thank you.
reflect on what I've learned from my teachers and now I teach more and more, I think one of the the hardest things to do is is to give patience to your students because you know what's expected. You as the teacher see the end goal and um, you're constantly chipping away trying to get your students to emulate what you already know in your head and you know they can do. And um, Vladimir didn't have much patience. <laughs> this is, he pushed you to the maximum which I think is actually even better than a teacher with patience. I try to have more patience, but every time I find myself um, extremely passionate and, and shouting even at my students, I channel Vladimir because he had patience up until the point he could see you were about to have a breakthrough. And at that moment, he shouted louder. <laughs> and it scared you into doing it properly. And uh, again, his, his awareness of when to push his students and when to give them the, the food for thought and the conviction and confidence in their body was always spot on. And it wasn't until years later that you realize, you know, that you are working with a master and you can only hope to, to get close to that as you become a teacher yourself. So on behalf of, of uh, myself and all young teachers, um, there's so much to learn from you. And uh, I really am blessed to have spent so much time with you in the studio and you have made me um, the artist I am and uh, I'm very thankful. I met Mr. Julukaze 20 years ago when I was 16 and I was his student for three years at the Academy, at the Kiro Academy. And um, I remember that uh, it was a very, very good experience for me to work with him and he, he always, you know, tried to put out the best of me. He believed in me and he always motivated me. That's what I remember the most. And I'm very, very thankful. I'm very grateful. And um, I wish I could work more with him. Actually, I, I wish I could uh, work early with him. I uh, wish I could meet him when I was 12, 13, and um, spend time spend more time with him and get to know him maybe better. But um, he was not only a teacher for me, he was like a, an idol. And his sense of humor and everything just uh, made me feel not alone when I came, uh, when I was alone in that school. I was the only Turkish guy. and. Maybe that was the, the biggest help for me, for me. And I remember one day he came to the studio and he looked at me and he said, Salam. Well, Salam means hand in Turkish, so I didn't know what to say. And I don't know what I was thinking that time, but I was very surprised that just to, to hear this word. <laughs> And I thought maybe he, you know, like we were gonna play a game, like like cinema's game, like the same kind of words that we are gonna say. So I started about like saying like, hey, bacon, you know. But anyway, uh, I was very shocked. And then he waved at me and he said, salam. So I thought, I understood that he's like saying hi to me in Turkish, which is selam. And yeah, uh, it was surprised. I was surprised that uh, I heard some Turkish uh, word from it. Yeah, that's my memory. Years ago when uh, the Royal Ballet was on tour and I'd long graduated from the Kirov Academy of Ballet, I was performing a lead role in Manon and Vladimir came to see the show. And the next day, um, my 
phone rang in my hotel room and it was Vladimir with um, a really touching message just to say congratulations and how much he enjoyed the show and how he wished uh, others who sadly weren't with us anymore, mainly Madame Vinogradova and Madame Sizova, could have seen could have seen the performance, and it was just um, such a touching message to receive, and a good example of the real care that Vladimir brings. So any students who are lucky enough to interact with Vladimir Julakadze will experience his true passion for dance and a real care behind what he's trying to, to achieve. Face on this side, keep arm, then change shape. Then you point up, down, up, elbow, elbow, down, and shoulder back, shoulder back, side, for the bra longe to the bar, face to the left hand, back to the second elbow, same, face this side, arondi, then you point smoothly, arm comes up, down, heel. From the bar for the bra. After training with you, Vladimir, I went to Stuttgart Ballet and uh, danced there for 15 years almost and came back to National Ballet of Canada in Toronto and have been extremely lucky since I had you as a teacher and danced in Paris and Moscow and everywhere. And it's funny how with every single step, I remember <laughs> uh, all the little things that you used to say. Like for example, uh, I don't have a very big jump. So I ask you like, how can I become a dancer if I don't really have a huge jump? How is it possible? What else can I do? And he, you said, you should pay attention more to your character dancing too. So we start to do character lessons as well, which you also taught. And I thought that was so fantastic that we could use the whole body, the whole body in a different way. So I could actually feel like I was dancing. So while I was working on my jumping, I was actually dancing with you and that was really important. I would not be a professional dancer had, it was, had I not been a student of his. He, um, demands excellence, he demands passion, and he inspires. I was a dancer with Washington Ballet for 18 seasons. I was a featured dancer and principal dancer. Um, while working with that company, I danced every role that we performed basically in all the, from classical repertoire um, through the contemporary repertoire of today. Um, I am very fortunate now to be with Ballet Met uh, continuing my career of 21 years. And I really owe a large part of it to Mr. Jilahadze and happily owe it to him. And I'm really happy to be able to honor him. And forward and rush for the purpose. From February to the fourth, we have to start four. We might have to start the fourth instead of fourth on the parapet. And pirouette under down to the arabesque again and breathing. And uh, one, two, three, two, two, three, four, and then arabesque. Don't go to the to the fourth. Clear pirouette stop to the fourth. Second pirouette stop to the arabesque. So arabesque. How do we go around? Pirouette under down arabesque and breathing and go out. We can do one side. Working with Vladimir led me to amazing things. I won the Eric Brun Prize 
I won the Princess Grace Award. I then went on to become principal dancer with American Ballet Theatre. And I am now artistic director of my own company, Ballet Next. Thank you, Vladimir, for believing in me. The work really paid off. It's my turn to try to learn and uh, to be a teacher for my son, but also um, reflect in what you gave us and your passion and dedication. Um, in one year, I accomplished quite a lot with you, a uh, couple competitions and um, definitely was, uh, I am blessed that I had the time to, uh, to learn from everything that you gave. I am so fortunate to call Vladimir my teacher. He has touched my professional and personal life in a very special way. I would not be the dancer that I am today without all the knowledge he has shared with me and the passion he instills in his work. I wish you many more years of happiness and health and hope you can continue to inspire many, many more dancers just as you have inspired me. Thank you. You had so many obstacles probably over your career and your life that you've overcome. And I can see that in your strength of character. I could always see that. And I was so happy that when I auditioned for Kiev Academy, I chose your class. And uh, yeah, I just really want to thank you so much for all that you've given me at that very tricky time when you don't know what a student is going to look like later you don't know what they're going to become what, what they're going to dance like and you always spoke about your teachers and i thought that that was really important and i will continue to speak about my teachers throughout the future so i send you my best love and with every step uh, you're ingrained into my technique and into my dancing and I hope you have a wonderful anniversary and here's to more teaching. I just wanted to take any opportunity to wish you a happy career anniversary. This is an amazing achievement, uh, both as a dancer and as a teacher. And uh, I carry your lessons with me every single day, every single day. So. Uh, you're often on my mind, and if it's not you personally, it's your words and your wisdom and your passion. So I would not be the dancer I am or the, the artist I am without some of the fundamentals you taught me about what, the, what ballet is really about, not just steps. Mr. Julahasi, congratulations. What a milestone. 50 years, the knowledge, experience, passion you gave to us. I wish you many more years. All our love. Congrats again. Anyway, I just want to say congratulations, Mr. Julahasi, on 50 years in ballet and uh, inspiring people and continuing to inspire people. You deserve uh, more thanks and praise than that I'm sure you'll even receive. So um, again, you know, thank you for everything you gave me. And uh, all right. Congratulations on 50 years in your ballet career. Congratulations, it's 50 years. That's an amazing amount of time to have touched so many artists across the world. Wow, <laughs> okay. <laughs> 
50 years, huh, Mr. Chilikadze? Uh, that's fantastic. I just would like to say a huge congratulations to you, Mr. Chilikadze, as you celebrate this, your 50 year anniversary of your career. I know that I am extremely proud and grateful to be one of your students. I myself am retired from the stage now very recently, and I am a ballet master in a company. And when I'm teaching company class or I'm in rehearsals with the dancers, I think of you so often um, when I'm giving a correction or I'm teaching something to someone, I'll have a, a memory pop in my mind and I can see you saying the exact same thing to us at school back at Kirov. And it makes me smile because the training is still there. It never leaves you. And that's the mark of a great teacher. It stays with you always. And if there's any way that I could possibly repay you for everything that you've taught me is I hope you know that I'm trying my best to make you proud in passing on the knowledge that you have given to me on to the next generations. And not just me, your students all over the world are doing the same. They're passing on the knowledge that you've given to all of us. And I hope you know just how special you are to us. You're an amazing teacher and we are so lucky um, to have had you teach us throughout all those years, um, our careers wouldn't have been the same without you. So thank you so very, very much, Mr. Jewel Hadze. I wish you all of the best and um, congratulations again. I want to congratulate Mr. Vladimir on an amazing 50 year career. One, two, fast three, one, two, diagonal, and one, and two, and to the new open leg, four counts. One, two, three, four, jete, passe, plie, and grand round, slow down. And one, brush backwards. One, two, fast three, one, two, this, and one, Back, sutenu, one, open leg, done. Four counts, one, two, three, elbow around, Peter. Let me point everybody, follow your right arm. From this side, the elbows, watch. <clears throat> Plie, no side. Up, plie back, up. I hope to share my love for ballet with many new students. Mm -hmm.